guys and welcome to your May 6th Stronger Together workout. Um, today you're going to be doing a, a interval training of every four minutes for five sets, total of 20 minutes. You'll be doing 15 kettlebell swings and 15 front squats as well as a 200 meter run. So we have Coach Jenna here again to demonstrate the warm-up movements, actually all of them hopefully. Um, so we're gonna start you off with our very tried and true warm up of 25 jumping jacks. You can guess what's next. It's gonna be very exciting here. And then you're gonna do 25 front jumping jacks. We're going into spider band lunges, so you're gonna do 10 on each side. So you can drop your back knee if you need to. If you have the flexibility though, keep it off the ground. You're gonna get your foot up as close to your hand as possible. Make sure that front heel is down. Right, and you can do go down to your elbows if you have the flexibility for it. Otherwise, just stay on your hands. You'll do 10 on each side. From there, you're gonna do 10 lateral lunges. I'm just gonna move her as fast as I can through this, just to see how fast she can go here. 10 lateral lunges, again, heel down on the leg that you're lunging into, shifting your hips back and down. After that, we're gonna do inchworm with the push-ups. So you keep your feet wide, go ahead and get a nice hamstring stretch on your way down, walk your hands out to a plank, give us five push-ups, lift your hips, drive back, and walk your hands back into your feet. And then you're gonna go back out for four, three, two, and one. All right, so from here we're gonna go into speed skaters. You're gonna hinge at the hips, your hands descend down, and she is keeping her core nice and back and active as she swings her arm from side to side. And you can follow with your eyes as well, follow your hands to get a little extra twist there. After that, you're going to go into arm circles. So your arm circles forward for 10, and then backwards for 10, nice and big. After that, we go into arm pretzels, so we extend both arms out, twist one arm so that it's like you're wringing out a towel. You will do a total of 20 of these. After that, you have shoulder rolls. So 10 shoulder rolls forward, and then 10 shoulder rolls backwards. If you want to walk with it, go for it. There we go. That's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> After that, we have a lateral neck stretch. So you're going to place your hand to the outside of your ear. Right, pull over, don't yank your head. And then you're going to extend the shoulder that you're stretching away from down to the ground to get an extra stretch. You'll hold for 30 seconds on both sides. After the lateral neck stretch, you're gonna do a posterior neck stretch. So you're gonna grab behind the head and pull down. And again, pushing the shoulders away from wherever the um, direction you're pulling to get an extra stretch. Finally, you're gonna finish with some wrist mobility. You have options here, people. You could do the I don't even know what these are, wrist circles that are really, really amazing. All right, or you can spend some time just going down to the ground, putting your hands directly underneath the shoulders, and then fingers facing out, you're gonna drive your shoulders over your hands. All right, and then you'll turn your palms away from you, fingers facing your knees, and you're gonna sit back towards your heels, and just hold this, or you can pulse back and forth in this position. And then finally, you'll do the top of the hand on the ground, very carefully here, guys, because this is a um, challenging stretch, and just get a nice, front um, stretch in the forearm. You'll do that for about 30 seconds in each position and you will be warmed up at least for that part. All right guys, so now for your front squat prep, you're gonna start with 10 quadruped rotations on either side. So your hand will go behind the ear and from there you're gonna really focus on opening the chest here and then driving the elbow through, almost like threading the needle here guys. You're almost driving the elbow through and back towards the hip, okay? You'll do 10 on each side, nice and slowly here, all right? After that, you're gonna do five squat therapy reps. So you're gonna find a wall in your house, all right? You wanna get your feet as close to the wall as possible. That is the goal over time, but obviously if you don't have the um, mobility, then get a little bit further away. Your hands are gonna go up and together, okay? This is important, keeping those hands together because you're gonna get a nice stretch in your upper back whenever you do that, okay? You're gonna, they're gonna to want to come apart. I want you to fight to keep them together and press up into them. From here, her feet are about shoulder, uh, shoulder width apart. She's gonna shift her hips back and descend down slowly into that squat. Do not rush this, guys, all right? You don't have to go extremely slow, but we want you to go slow enough, almost like a three count descent here, right? And a three count rise. That way you're getting all of the good technique here, right? Driving your hips back the entire time, sitting down to the heels. All right, as you warm up, if this gets to be too easy for you, we want you to move a little bit closer to the wall. Ooh, Jenna's going for it. All right, let's see if she can do it. Oh, oh, she made it happen. All right, so we'll do five of those, guys. After you've completed your um, squat therapy reps, you're gonna do five paused front squats, okay? So if you have a lighter set of dumbbells, I obviously recommend that rather than just going into your workout weight here. All right, 
right? If you don't have that option, do the best you can. Maybe just do a goblet squat with them. So we'll show you both. So five front squats, if you have the lighter weight, you're gonna do um, a three second descent, a one second hold in the bottom, and then a three second rise, okay? So it looks like this, all right? So again, it's three, two, one, hold, one, two, three, all right? You're gonna do five of those. If you only have, um, if your kettlebell bell or your dumbbell is too heavy, um, or your pair of dumbbells is too heavy, you can do a goblet squat, same thing, three, two, one, hold, one, two, three. Make sure you find an, um, an upward focal point as well. Make sure you're not looking down at the ground. You want your shoulders to stay up and then have your core next embraced throughout. You're gonna do two rounds of all of those movements um, just to prep for the front squats. All right guys, so as a reminder, your workout today is going to be five rounds of every four minutes. You're gonna do a 200 meter run, followed by 15 kettlebell swings and 15 front squats or goblet squats. So as a um, build up, you're gonna do a, a short run, so like 30 seconds to a minute run, all right? And then you're gonna come back and you're gonna build up for your kettlebell swings. Now most of you probably only have one kettlebell. Um, if your kettlebell is too heavy, we only have a 55 here, so we're gonna see how Jenna does with this in about two minutes. Um, she hasn't practiced at all. So um, if your kettlebell happens to be too heavy, then only do Russian swings today. That means you're only going to eye level. If it's too light or if it's lighter and you can get to that American swing um, all the way overhead, but it is just really too light, you might want to increase your reps a little bit to like 20 to 25, all right? Um, we want you to get a workout here, but you should be able to be sprinting through the movement. Jenna is not gonna sprint with a 55. All right, so what you'll do is you'll do 30 seconds of running, You'll come back and do five kettlebell swings, and then you'll do five front squats or goblet squats, okay? Okay guys, so really quickly, let's touch on kettlebell swings. The kettlebell swing looks like this. First, we're gonna do Russian, because we know Jenna can do it. So make sure that you have your core engaged here, and you notice her chest is up the entire time. She's not losing her back here, all right? Her feet are shoulder width, and she's driving out of her legs to get the kettlebell to eye level. Okay, so your other option is an American kettlebell swing, which is taking the kettlebell from ground to overhead. Look at that! Look at that! All right, so make sure that you do not lose your core, and notice that her arms are fully extended all the way past her ears whenever she does this. I'm going to let her stop after this rep, just in case she you. You're welcome. So you want to make sure whenever you're doing the overhead position especially that you get the hands all the way up to the ears, not here, right? You want to get that full lock out at the top. You do have the other option of um, doing a snatch version of this where as you come up you bend the arms early and then press through at the top. Um, that is another option. It is faster but it will tax your shoulders um, sooner and quicker. So just keep that in mind for this workout. If you choose to use a barbell for the front squats today, um, the weight for the barbell would be 95 for guys and 65 for girls. Um, as far as the intent goes with this, every um, interval is four minutes long. Uh, as far as the weight and reps that you do, nothing should take longer than three minutes. Um, most people will probably finish, if you're very good at these movements, you're gonna finish closer to two minutes. You should be able to connect all of the reps and both of those movements and have fast transitions. Um, as far as the kettlebells and the dumb or dumbbells go. All right, and of course your 200 meter run, it should be a sprint, it should not be a 200 meter jog. So um, if you cannot achieve a 200 meter run in um, a little, like around a minute to a minute and a half, you need to um, probably cut your distance a little bit and just maybe just run, um, do it like a minute run, essentially, okay? All right, so your cool down is going to be 15 side planks, I guess it's more core work than cool down, but it's 15 side planks, so you're gonna get in a side plank, and then you're gonna dip with this. So you're gonna dip 15 times, all right? So you're gonna try to get the hip to the ground, but do not collapse in the bottom. After that, you're going to hold, at the, after the 15th rep, you're gonna hold for 15 seconds at the top. So you're thinking about squeezing your glutes, sending your hips forward and up, all right? After that, you'll do 15 reps on the other side with a 15 second hold. For your cool down guys, you're going to do a hamstring stretch with your um, butt up against the wall, legs extended, and from here you're gonna put one foot on top of the other. So one heel goes on top of the other to just extend the stretch a little further. All right, you're gonna hold this for 30 to 45 seconds on each side, all right, just to stretch out your hamstrings. After that, you're gonna
you're going to do a couch stretch. For couch stretch, you're going to need a wall. You can actually use a couch. As long as you have something to put your foot up against, you're going to have the top of your foot up against some sort of structure. You're going to get into a lunge with the other foot, and then from here, you're going to press yourself back into the wall, right? Hands above the head to get an extra stretch through the shoulders. If you cannot get this farther, that's fine. You don't have to. Jen is extra flexible. You could just keep the hands down and do the best you can, right? Um, if you need something to hold on to, also to get into this position, I highly recommend using a chair or something to assist you to get into this position. You're going to hold again 30 seconds on each side. You'll do two rounds of all of that. Are Finally, you? to tackle your shoulders, we're going to do the hands on a box or on a wall stretch. Okay. So from here, you're going to find a wall, find a box, something to put your hands on, and from here you're going to get, um, get on your knees and drive your chest towards the ground. Okay? You're going to again hold this, and I like to look, usually I like to turn and look under one side, right, and then turn and look under the other side just to get a little extra stretch. Um, and you'll hold this for 30 to 45 seconds. That's your workout for today. We hope that you guys have fun with it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And um, yeah, have a good one. Be safe. Press on. Alright guys, your cool down is going to be this, right there, just sit like that, and look at your neighbor, and see the white cloth, wave to them, oh, give them a little wink.